Hello. Um, you might be wondering where we are. All right, I am just underneath my house in like my little dungeon storage area because I found this bedside table on the side of the road the other day and I wanna do a DIY makeover. As you can see, it's kind of like old fashioned in its coloring and styling. So the plan is to remove the knobs, sand everything back, stain it, and then also partially paint it. These are my inspiration pictures. There she goes. Can you see that? Also, quick disclaimer, I don't really know what I'm doing. I got my boyfriend to help me with like, what is this? What is this? Right, we, un we all understand the basic concept of sanding. Is the exfoliation of materials. Oh. You're so talented. I look fucking crazy. Alright. Now there are some parts that I have to sand by hand, which... Okay. Ugh, all right. I've sanded down the table. I tried to sand the drawers, but they're just like, I can't get in the cracks and I've just done my best. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna have to paint the drawers. I was thinking of maybe leaving one, painting one. Um, but I think I'm going to have to paint both of them just because the sanding is so bad that the stain is going to look really uneven. But the bedside table has come up really even, so I think it'll look good, that. But these will have to be painted, I think. But what I think this means is that it's time for a trip to Bunnings. Yay! Oh. Look at my pants. I may have to wait for the lines on my face to go away. <laughs> so I went to Bunnings. I got everything I needed except for handles. I just completely forgot. This stuff, got some paint, some primer, some brushes, a stain. Cost me $122. So it's a good thing that this bedside table was free. I think what I'm gonna do now, because I'm so indecisive about how I wanna paint it, is I'm going to put the drawers back in, take a photo of it, and then maybe just do some Photoshop to see what's gonna look the best. I just got home from work, so I feel like I started this two weekends ago, or maybe last weekend. I don't remember. Maybe it was last week. It's looking pretty good. So now I just need to get out of my work clothes and into something that is better for painting in. I forgot I have to prime it first. I was just reading this can of primer. Is this primer? Yes. And touch dry 30 minutes, properly dry two hours, so I'll probably only be priming today. Oh, I thought they were getting bitten by a mosquito. I think he's actually the guy, I don't care about it. 
got anything to say for this. Guys, I'm so fucking tired. I don't even want to do this. Okay, let's prime! So I'm going to be painting below this. Look, we would cook often in college, and he's like, all oh, these. Okay, fit check, fit check. Oh, shit. Well, this is fine. These boots are a bit intense, but I'm wearing them because I thought I was just going to be down here today. I thought that I was just going to be finishing this off. Hello? Anyway, I um, thought that I was going to just be down here, but I need to go to Bunnings, so... I'm gonna wear the boots out. I'm gonna get handles and a paint tray because I need another one. Yellow, red, orange, and green. Why am I blue? Huh? I'm blue. Why is everything blue? Hello? Okay. This is a cool angle. I'm at Bunnings, and to be honest, I probably won't film in there because there's so many people because it's a Saturday because now that I have a full-time job, I can only go to Bunnings on Saturdays. Oh God, oh God, oh God, vlogging, it's so embarrassing. I'm just gonna put you right there. Um, so obviously I didn't vlog in there. Fucking every man and his dog was in there, so that was not gonna happen. I'll show you what I got. I got a paint tray, and I got these handles. I thought they had a nice finish on them. They're like brushed gold. Anyway, I can't do this. I have, I have to go right now. Okay, so now the drawers are primed. I didn't paint the inside because I don't know. I didn't think I could. Um, but anyway, all primed. Except for that bit. Which I'm not going to because I'm never going to see it. I, I got two of these because I didn't think I'd need a lot of paint. They're just like little sample pots. And yeah. Get to, um... Oh god, I can't, I can't even hold a single thought in my brain. Whoa. Whoa. Big boot moment. Boot check. Shoe check. Hey. Oh, oh, shit. <sighs> okay. Ooh, it's green. Can you see it? I'm just gonna pour it in. <gasps> I probably should have stirred that before I poured it in because all the colors are gonna be stuck at the bottom. Oh, also I love that I framed that up and then you couldn't even see me pour it in. Maybe I'll use this. Yep, get all those. Yellows in there. Oh god, I really, I really should have stirred this. But we live and we learn, we laugh and we love, and we eat and we pray and we love. That's all right. That's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a little mix in the tray. Oh, like, why did I think that was a good angle? You literally can't see anything. So I got this nice like sage green color because. I saw those pictures on Pinterest and I was like, yeah, that'll be good. Wasp. Normally when I do these kinds of projects, I just listen to podcasts um, and I'm really enjoying podcasts at the moment that are like, the format goes like two people who just talk shit with each other. So like The Basement Yard, um, Brooke and Connor make a podcast. Um, I love Brittany Broski's podcast. She doesn't even need a second person. Like she's everything on her own. Ah! Nice. To get in the cracks, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. I know it's crazy. I know it's a bit unconventional. You can't even see what I'm doing. Instead of rolling it, I'm just like, cause this is a sponge roller. I'm like just squishing, squishing it in so that it gets in the corners. And then I'm gonna go back. Now this paint is not going on smoothly and that would be because I'm using a roller. I bought this paintbrush for the stain, but maybe I'll try what it looks like. It'll wash out, it's just paint, it'll wash out. YOLO, YOLO! I hate this, I'm going back to this. No, you can do it. Don't worry, 
It's okay. Love yourself. No, sorry, this isn't working. I have to wash it out right now. Okay, that's it. I don't, I don't like, I don't like what I did. So I'm just gonna go back to the sponge roller and if, if it's kind of like, it's kind of spongy looking, then that's on me. We live and we laugh and we learn and we eat and we pray and we love. Because I'm trying to paint like all sides at once. I'm definitely not doing this in the most, I don't have to hold it. I'm not doing this in a way that's going to encourage the best outcome. Because I'm literally painting all sides except for the bottom at once. And you know what, I don't give a shit. Also guys, please watch my ads because I need to pay for all the money that I just spent at Bunnings to get all this stuff. I think total, I've spent like $140 now. Which is like, it is cheap for a bedside table though. Is it cheap? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's cheap. Australian dollars. Just in case you forgot that I was Australian. Ah, almost done, just gotta paint. Almost done, almost done one draw. Just gotta paint. I thought I sanded this really well and Jimmy did say like, make sure you use the finest sanding to get it really smooth. And I was like, oh, it's, it's actually come out really smooth. I don't need it. I should have listened. I was, it's because no fucking surprise, but uh, yeah. Fourth was really good. <laughs> Okay, sure, it's still drying, but as you can see, it looks kind of bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to work out how to make it not look bad. Hopefully, hopefully, second coat. Hopefully, second coat, it all comes together, it looks amazing. I really shouldn't have used that sponge roller. Let's do a second coat and see if it'll sort this shit out. God, I hope it will. That looks pretty good. All right. I have faith everything will be okay. Nobody freak out. I'm not going to show you what I'm doing because you can imagine it. Like, I, you know what putting on paint looks like. There is definitely a lot of texture and that's my fault. I take full responsibility. Because unfortunately there's no one else to blame it on. I've done such a bad job that my supervisor is here. She's not happy with my work. Guys, how do, how do they do it? How do these DIY YouTubers do it? I feel like I'm spending half the time just getting the angle. Big boot moment, big boot check. Also guys, if there is no music in this video, um, it's probably because I haven't set up my computer yet to be able to make music. Cause I basically got like half of a new computer set up and then we moved house and then I we didn't have any internet and blah, 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 blah. So I just haven't, it's been ages, but I haven't set up my computer to make music. So that's why I haven't really done anything. I've been doing other things as well, you know, but yeah, if there's no music for this, that's real life. That's how that goes. I want to get into staining because I'm losing light and I just, I can't wait anymore. I have to do it now. And I'm scared. I'm really scared. I've like read the instructions on the can. I did a Google. I asked Jimmy. Jimmy knows everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stain it using a brush. And I only just learned that you're supposed to wipe away stain. I've got this old t-shirt. Wipe the stain away. But I'm really worried about like getting these crisp edges. Which I'll show you the crisp edge. Oh, yep. Yep, and you can see some of the primer. To be honest, it's not as crisp as I would have liked. Maybe I'll go in there with a little paintbrush just to like, oh, but then I'll fuck it up. I'm talking about like this stuff. The other side is about the same, but damn, that's gonna look cool. I still believe, I still believe guys. I don't know. Uh, every time I look at myself in the camera, I think I have a tattoo, but it's literally just a paint stain. Comment down below if I should get this tattooed. Comment down below if this would be a good tattoo. I'm so scared. 
I'm so scared of fucking this up. I'm just gonna try and very lightly sand away this primer. Oh, it's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh. oh yeah, okay, that didn't work. That did not work. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm just gonna try and use paint to like very, very lightly touch up the mistakes. And I am using a better brush. I probably should have used this brush in the first place since this paint is water-based. It'll just wash off, but sometimes I just don't use my brain. Okay, I'm not gonna zoom you in because if I make a mistake, I'm gonna be too embarrassed. Not great. I don't really think there's anything I can do about that within my skill level. Nah, I'm gonna leave it. Now, I don't even know, like, if I'm supposed to put the stain on. Do I wipe it off straight away? Apply. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Oh, allow to set for one to five minutes, then rub with a clean, soft cloth in a circular motion. Oh, I should want to use gloves, too. The jar of stain. Also, I just saw under my house that the previous tenants or the owner of the house has left some stain under the house, like this stuff. So I probably just could have used that because it's the color that I need. These are the only ones I could find. I wanted to find my like art ones. I don't really want to use these. But these are nice. I wanted these for like when I'm cleaning the house. Oh, and they're like, ooh, they're lined. Like, I feel so beautiful right now. So beautiful, so classy. Big booth moment with the glass. Ah! Yeah, I got my stain home tonight. There's a moon and dog in the barrel. Now as a stirring stick, I'm using my worst brand of brush. Like this is a nice brush. I need worst brand, worst brush. Oh yeah. Yeah. The brush is like too big. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Let me just read the instructions one more time. Apply it with a good quality brush. Okay. Should I go in one direction? Work the stain evenly into the grain. Oh shit, she's dark. How am I supposed to do this with all of the nooks and not get, you know, not stain? other sections oh well it's there okay that looks good it's gonna look good when I do the clear coat too now I have to figure out how to do the sides I'm a little bit nervous about I do feel like I should use tape maybe I'll test on the drawers if the tape is gonna lift the paint because it's probably only been like an hour since I painted them if that right test it on a non-important part of the drawers she's clean yeah I could have just done this all at the same time now reflecting on that I literally could have just stained the whole thing but I couldn't have done it in one to five minutes so maybe not maybe I did the right thing I don't even know if I'm gonna do a second coat I think one coat is all I need Ugh. It's like a lovely, lovely color. I'm just gonna rinse my brush. Wow, this is a great angle. Really good. I look really nice, really kind of plump and gravity affected, I would say, is how I would describe it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like these parts of the wood. Oh no, you can definitely see. See all these like squiggly marks? Yeah, that's from me. That's from me trying to sand, but you know what? They're unique. See you tomorrow. Oh God. Okay, so bring it here then. Bring it here. Here. Thank you. Oh. All right. It's time for the clear coat. This, can you say it? No, it's okay, I'll show you later. 
looking really, really good. So now I need to read these instructions 10 times. Do not shake can. Good, stir, brush, brush in the direction of the grain. Allow to dry. Two hours for best results, lightly sand. Sand and then second and third coat. Wow! Looks like yogurt. Let's fucking go! Let's get a better camera angle before we go. I have no idea how thick or how thin I'm supposed to be doing this. Okay, well, <coughs> you get what I'm doing right. I don't need to record anymore. Hopefully this just fits and I don't actually have to do anything. This is too long. I assume you can like make it shorter. No. This is uh yeah cool. Maybe I'm cool. Close your eyes. Yay! Jesus, that shit flies. Yeah, they're hardened screws. When they break they just go. Priming coat is, is there's like a line of it that I can't get rid of, but I might paint over it. <laughs> oh dear. Looks good. It's I'm, fine. Looks good for my house. Oh wait a second. <laughs> it's not perfect. Wait, wait. We have to get there, Jimmy. Oh, this side's better, and that's the side we won't see because <laughs> <laughs> it'll be up against our bed. Actually, do you want to take it upstairs and then we can put the drawers in upstairs? Yeah. Remember the before. Well, that's kind of it, I guess. There's definitely like some little imperfections. Like I can see that I've kind of missed a spot of paint, but that's it's actually not going to bother me, so it's fine. And yeah, I don't really have anything to put in here. I think I just put some lip balm in there. Got like my Kindle and some selenite. Can you stop? Oh, you want another hug? Kind of matches you. This is kind of your color scheme. Okay. Please watch my ads so that it pays for all the money that I spent on this bedside table that was free but now is like $140. Bye!